So I'm sitting here with uh, Lawrence Brown, born and raised in the UK, now making his home in the United States of America and making more than his home there. He's made quite a name for himself because he started a YouTube channel about his experiences coming over from the UK, landing in the US, the differences, the nuances, the tweaks, and holy Christmas crackers, the thing is blown up, Lawrence. You're nearing the half a million subscriber mark. Tell the listeners mm-hmm. a little bit about, first of all, I want to know where in England are you from originally? So I, I grew up in a town called Grimsby, which I believe there is a version of in Canada. There, there is. We, we have about, our own but... Grimsby. Is it anything like the Grimsby in the UK? That is a very good question because, believe it or not, I have actually been to the Grimsby in Canada oh, yeah? on Microsoft Flight Simulator, oh. so not in real life. But I flew through it, and uh, which is a weird sentence to say on its own. And I, uh, having flown over it, it's it's not really laid out in the same way. It has different sort of trees, but it is near to a body of water, so that's something. I didn't even know this was a thing a person could do. Microsoft... What was it? Microsoft Air uh, Flight Simulator. Flight Simulator. It's, so it's you become, can pick a yeah. place and fly around it. Basically, yeah. The, Microsoft has created this game. I mean, they've been doing Flight Simulator for years, but it's taken on a, a level of you know realism in recent years that is just unbelievable. I'm writing it down. And you can go to just about this. anywhere. Yeah, yeah. You just got to make sure you have a lot of space and RAM on your computer, otherwise there could be a fire. <laughs> and it's it's fantastic i mean it, it yeah it's 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 sort of helped me sort of go to places that i wouldn't ordinarily be able to go to but you never get to interact with people or anything like that you're just flying above them that's even better it, it is yeah it is it's that's great. a selling you, you point just, for, for introverts like me it's a win yeah. so now let's uh start laying the track for how you got to where you are now first of all what mm-hmm. what was it that made you uh i think i know the answer to this but for those of uh, our listeners who may not be familiar with you and your channel what made you decide to come to the united states of america well there's a, a couple of factors to throw in here i suppose the one thing i didn't mention um when we were talking about my sort of acting background and interest in american films is that i also developed an interest in america in general as a child Right, so I was uh, fascinated by its geography. I learned all of the 50 states when I was probably about There's nine. 50 states? Holy crap. The, the, yeah, right, right. And then I took it a step further and learned all of the state capitals. And it just, it frankly got out of hand. It was, it was <laughs> silly. What made you click the decision of like, I should start a YouTube channel? dedicated to this sort of adventure and just the different nuances that I've experienced as a English uh, interloper coming to the US. I was from a writing background as well as an acting background. My degree is in English and creative writing. I'd written for publications and all of this. So I thought I'll start a blog. I'll start a blog about some of the mostly about the linguistic differences between our two countries. This is how it started and I sort of saw it as an opportunity to be able to dispel myths that some people in Britain believe about America. And so it started as a written blog. And I did that for two years. It had moderate success. But after those two years, I I just suddenly had this sort of epiphany that, you know, I miss performance. I miss being in front of people. So I thought, well, you know, other people are doing this YouTube thing. It seems like the internet is going in a, a more video oriented direction. Why don't I try it? And and I did. And at, at the start with my first ever video, I think we probably had, you know, four people watching, one of whom was my mum. <laughs> and it was it wasn't something where I thought, oh, this will blow up overnight. Def- never, never thought that. And it didn't. It took it took time. It took seven years to get to where we are now, which is beyond the population of Iceland in terms of subscribers. <laughs> so that's a, you know, that's obviously that's been a long time goal of mine is to exceed that population. Yeah, it's a, and, I think uh, it's now, every young child's dream. 